Hi, welcome to Installing and Leveraging Postman. In this video, we're going to discuss how to install the Postman utility and co add collections to connect to SolidFire system. You start by going to github.com slash solidfire. You'll see a repo there for Postman. And here we provided collections for three different Element OS versions. You simply need to download the zip file to your local machine. You'll want to open that zip file and then extract it so that you can access the JSON files that are the collections. Store that information. You'll have that available. Let's just keep that over to the side. But you'll see that we have three different collections that are available. Next, we'll need to install Postman on your system. If you're using the Chrome browser, you can simply go to your apps and then look at the web store. A quick search for Postman will provide you the Postman REST client. Postman is a utility for uh, checking API calls, uh, REST-based calls, and doing testing. Once it's installed, you'll simply open the application. If you have, want to, you can sign up. In this case, we're just going to log in, and you'll see that we have no collections currently. So we need to import some. We'll go to Import. We'll now browse to the files that we had downloaded from GitHub, and we can go ahead and select all three collections, and you'll see that Postman will add those collections in. We have six, element six, which is carbon, element seven, which is nitrogen, and then we also have element eight, which is oxygen. Now we need to add an environment. Go to Manage Environments, use MVIP because that is what we have as a variable in our strings. And in this case, I'll add the um, system that is in my lab. Don't forget to name it because if you don't, it will fuss at you. So I'm going to call it Josh-Dev1. Hit Submit and you now have it added. Now this cluster is element 7, so we're going to use that collection. Let's go to a list of accounts. We obviously need to provide some authentication, so I put my admin authentication, and I ensure that I save it you know, for the request. When I hit send, you'll see I don't get a response. The reason is, is I haven't selected an environment. So what I need to do is go in, select josh-dev1, and hit submit. And now you'll see that it returns that there is an account with the username Josh. It is an active account, and you can see the available information there. That concludes the brief introduction on how to get started, and in the next section we're going to talk about how to actually execute change in the environment. Thanks for watching.